And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki C. and Cerullo. Okay, it's Hunter, Dan, and Daddy. Coming after the big bear. Right, it's mine. He just said What do you so. mean it's mommy's? Why? It's a big bear. Mommy gets the big bears, huh? You get the little bears, right? Right, high five me on that one. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week we're going to go up to Saskatchewan. It's going to be a little different. Ralph and I, we aren't even hunting on this show. No, it's pretty cool. We got some of the guys out. Freddie, Freddie Lagos, our producer, is, is out there on his... Yes, yeah. silly, I'm going to get even with you too. You know, <laughs> Freddie's out on his first ever bear hunt. And you know what? I was so fortunate enough to share it with him up at Deshambo Lakes. I mean, it was just, well. This, is this what Freddie looked like going to the first stand, this time, the bear stand the first time? He's... Oh, he was. He was, was like, he shaking a he bit so, when, when he, when he, he got so up there? He was like, oh my gosh, I'm going bear hunting. I think we had a. I think we needed actually a built in stabilization on his white bow. Because it was. Just on him. Yeah, just oh on him. my gosh. Awesome. Let's get together. Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing there, guys? Getting ready to eat our pre-hunt meal. Have some moose steaks with some noodles here. I'm excited. I'm getting ready to go get in my first bear stand. Ralph's letting me hunt first. We got some good sign. Hopefully tonight will be a good hunt. I'm hoping he gets it. Are you nervous, Fred? I'm a little bit nervous. I'm nervous. I'm anxious. I'm excited. I'm happy to be here. You liar. Stick around. More Archer's Choice coming up right after this. I'm on him. I'm on him. Oh, I missed. Ah, you missed. Oh, my, my bow limb. It hit the tree. It hit the, oh, the sun was in my eyes. Oh, I, I, I mean, I, I choked. Hey, welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Freddy, you got bear fever.
Well, he definitely hit it, Mike. <laughs> the branches are gone. And... Come here, buddy. You're going to like this. Let's see how this thing works. There is... I cannot think of any reason why any hunters, you know what I mean, wouldn't be using these things. And you're going to see why here shortly. Well, I like the fact that it times the... It times the time. It times everything. It times everything. Turn the camera on. Hit menu twice. We gotta wait till it comes up. There's one of your bears, your bait. Well, that's not that bad. That's not that bad of a bear. Mm -mm. Right on. Was it just the one? Probably not, cause that darker one or that. That's from. It was later on. Yeah. Well, we're all set up here again. If you remember, if you can recognize this spot, this is where Fred missed his first bear. Missed his first bear. Missed his first bear. Missed his first bear. No, nothing's wrong with your VCR. <laughs> listen. Hey, that happens. It was just great that we got it on Bill. Now, listen here. The stealth cam had told us there's a few different bears coming in. We're trying to up our odds. Both Fred and I have bows in the stand here. So if you see a weird camera angle, the arrow coming from above the camera, that means I'm filming and Fred shooting. We'll see what happens. You never know. These bears are kicking our butt here in Saskatchewan. We'll see what happens. God bless you, buddy. <laughs> he came out of nowhere. I looked up. I didn't hear him. It was right after I coughed. He came out of absolutely nowhere. Wow, what a great bear. I can't believe for a bear. That's my first one. Oh, God. I can't stop shaking. <laughs> oh, buddy. 
if this is an excitement, I don't know what, what is, I'll tell you that much. Mikey Grunman up here at the Shamble Lake Resort. He has been working hard with us all week to put us on the bears. About 7.45, out of nowhere, this dude pops his head up and he comes into the bait. Ralph looks at me and goes, it's your bear. My jaw hit the ground. I handed him the camera. We had to move slow even though this was his bait. He was still real cautious about coming in. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now we're going to go join Bruce Carroll as he takes a bear up there in Saskatchewan. Also. Look at this is how Freddie looked after he missed. He just passed out. Yeah. Uh, Dunderhead did his job. Bruce, thanks a lot for sharing some of that footage with us. You know, bear hunting provides an opportunity that a lot of you guys out there could film yourself, and that's just proof in the pudding that it can be done. Now, let's check out posse member Tony Permanian as he heads up just south at Tro East Trout Lake bear hunting camp, and well, he busts a big bear. And with this morning being the last day of the hunt, that we would get up early, and uh, we did, and we got in here, and about an hour after the um, bait barrel got moved and they kind of rattled it to ring the dinner bell, put some more bait in there. Uh, he came in about an hour afterward, spent, had to be 15 minutes. Uh, at times we figure with a laser range finder within 16 to 17 yards of our tree stand and I uh, can't seem to get him clean on film, you know, or a shot. And uh, we just stepped out here now to sit down and grab a little lunch because we're going to have about a 15 or 16 hour day in the tree stand today. Don't touch that remote. Archer's Choice will be back in a minute. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's continue on with posse member Tony, his bear hunt up there in Saskatchewan. Hey, you think they could rattle one in? Bears don't have antlers. I don't think that would really work. That explains why Mommy I shoot. The big one. Exactly, that explains why I shoot the big bears.
body. Six days, man. Six days, 14 hours the last day. That is one Mohawk blackberry. That chocolate. That chocolate smokes the black. That chocolate's got to be 500 pounds. I've never, I've never seen a color faced blackberry in my life like that thing. My God. Oh, oh JR, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. That took the black sauce to you, man. Okay, there's some more sign here. Okay. Funny. Oh, look, there's uh, there, there's pretty there's hair. the arrow. There's the front half of the arrow right there. Yeah, just a very very yeah. end broken off. Look at, look at there oh, he there, there he is. There he is. There he is. We got our bear. Excellent, excellent. Boy, he sure didn't go far. Yeah, All I right. bet he went 35 yards at the Excellent, door. excellent. All right. Yep, there's our, there's our back half. Well, congratulations. Excellent, man. thank you, sir. Awesome. Thank you very much, Warren. Here we are with Tony and his uh, black bear. He's been hunting hard for six days now. Unfortunately, he left the one behind that he was looking for. It was a, a great big uh, cinnamon bear. Um, a little smarter than this one, I guess, but uh, we'd like to extend an invitation to Ralph and Vicky to come down and try their luck on the big guy. Ready again. <laughs> oh, missed him again. <laughs> hey, we want to thank you for sharing this week with us. We want to thank East Trout Lake and DeChambeau Lake. We want to take, thank Bruce, Tony, Tony and, and well, Freddie. And Freddie. To, you know, to share share experience with Freddie is, I mean, for this everybody is, wait, is did awesome. Wait, you do this? <laughs> hey, Freddie, no joke. All joking aside, that was awesome, and we're so glad we could be there and share it with you. I just want to show you this. <laughs> if you can't have fun, what can you do? We I mean, want to thank everyone again, and hey, we hope you all return same time next week, same channel, right here. On the Archer's Choice. Wait. I see light. I see light coming through there off yonder window.